So you want to stream from your console, but you don't want to spend the money on a capture card. I got you. Capture cards are super expensive, especially the good ones like the Elgato. Now you can buy a pretty cheap one and they do the job, but obviously the more money you spend on a capture card, the better, right? But that's not what this video is about. This video is actually going to show you how to skip out on the capture card and just stream directly to your PC from your console, saving you a ton of money. So if you like the video, give it a like down below. And if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, hit the subscribe button. It shows me that you guys like these videos and you want more of them. I also stream live on Twitch every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday from noon to four central standard time. We start every stream off in just chatting. So if you have any more questions that I didn't answer in this video, stop on by and we can talk more about it. And I also wanted to mention today's sponsor for this video, Turbo Beats. Turbo Beats Volume 1 is out now on Spotify. It's DMCA free background music that you can use for your Twitch streams or your YouTube videos. It's created from a friend of mine, actually, who also streams on Twitch. And let me tell you guys, Turbo is super talented and so dedicated to helping you guys stay safe from DMCA strikes on your Twitch channels. As we all know, using copyrighted music on your Twitch streams or your YouTube videos can get you in serious trouble. But Turbo Beats strives to keep you free from any DMCA strikes and keeping your content safe. So if you like EDM or nice mellow beats to use in your background, check out Turbo Beats on Spotify now. The link is in the description below. All right, guys, so let's just get into the video. So what you're going to need to pull this off is a console to stream from either a PS4, PS5, Xbox One or Xbox Series X. You can't do this with a Nintendo Switch or any older generation consoles, unfortunately, but we're just going to be covering the PlayStation 4 slash 5 Xbox One and Series X since they're the most commonly used consoles in today's world. You're going to need a Windows 10 PC or a Mac to connect to, so whatever computer that you're using to stream from. And then lastly, a good internet connection. Now, I'm assuming that if you are a streamer, you have a pretty decent connection because without one, you wouldn't really be able to stream, right? To get good quality out of this, you're going to need at least five megabytes of speed upload on your internet, which I assume you have if you're streaming. Now you can have your console and your computer set up to your network wirelessly, but you won't get the best quality output for your stream. So I suggest connecting your console and your PC directly to your router via ethernet cable. All right, so with that out of the way, let's just jump on over to my desktop and I'll show you how to connect your console to your PC, not using a capture card to stream. All right, guys, so for the PlayStation 5, first turn on your console and then what you're gonna wanna do is go up into your settings and then go down to where it says system. Go down to where it says remote play and make sure that you enable it. Once this is enabled, your PlayStation 5 is ready for remote play. Then on your computer, just type into Google PlayStation 5 remote play and then click on the first link. I'll also have the link to this page in the description below. But once you're on this page, scroll down to where you see the download button. Make sure that you click on the I agree and then download the PlayStation remote play app for your computer. Once the app is downloaded, it's going to ask you to sign into your PlayStation network account. So once you do that, it's going to search for your PlayStation on your network. So make sure that your PlayStation console is connected to the same network as your computer. So once you have that situated, it's going to ask you which console you want to connect to either a PS5 or a PS4. So depending on which one you're using, just click on that one and then it's going to connect to your system. So I already have mine connected. And so we'll click that and it's going to search for your connection and it's going to connect to your PlayStation 5. And then it's going to open up this window just like that. And then it's going to turn off your controller. And what you want to do is connect your DualShock controller to your PC with a USB cable. And once it's connected to your PC, you can now use your PlayStation via remote play on your computer. So in OBS, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add a new source. And in this instance, it's going to be display capture. I already have one set up right here, but what you would do is click on the plus sign and then go down to where it says display capture. It's going to come up with this window and you're going to want to select your display. And so whichever display you have your remote play app on, that's the one you're going to want. All you have to do now is in your PlayStation remote play app, just click on the bottom right, make it a full screen. And then there you go. And I don't have my PlayStation 4 console anymore, but to set that one up, you're just going to want to follow these steps on Sony's page. It's pretty much the exact same thing. It's just the menu system is a little bit different on that console versus a PS5. But if you follow these steps, once you're on the PlayStation Remote Play app on your computer, it's the exact same thing we did with our PS5 and setting it up in OBS is the exact same thing. 
all right guys and for xbox is just as easy so on your xbox console whether it be the xbox one or the series x go ahead and go to your settings once you're in your settings go down to where it says vices and connections and then go over to where it says remote features click on that and make sure that you enable remote features have this box checked so once you have this set up we're going to want to jump over back to our computer and download everything we need to connect everything if you're using a windows 10 pc this app is probably already installed it's called the xbox console companion and you can search for it by going to the bottom left and typing in xbox and then you can see right here xbox console companion app click on that and open it up this is what's going to pop up on your computer so from here what you're going to want to do is you're going to go up top left click on the hamburger menu and then go down to where it says connection click on connection and then it's going to ask you to search for a console on your network so again make sure that your console is connected to the same network as your pc once it finds your xbox go ahead and click on it and then once the app connects to your console you can go ahead and click on stream and then there you go again like with the playstation you're going to want to connect your xbox controller to your actual computer and unsync it from your xbox console and sync it to your pc once your controller is connected to your pc you can now control your xbox on your computer all right so after that you should be able to stream your xbox or your playstation to your computer have it set up in obs and stream your gameplay to twitch without using a capture card now again i would highly recommend a capture card in the future when you can afford it but when you're first starting off and you don't have that much money to spend on equipment this is a great alternative to streaming your gameplay now i do have the capture card that i use and recommend down in the description below and also an alternative if you don't want to spend that much but anyway i hope this video helped you guys out and if you have any more questions stop on by my stream and we can talk more about it